set in the limestone, your towers standing strong. The wind whistling through, the rain hitting your stone. I see you set in the limestone, I go past and wonder, why does no one care? Dear Griff, I love you so. Like a legend from King Arthur's time, Grich Castle slumbers on the Welsh coast near Abergelly, keeping watch over Liverpool Bay. What an amazing place! It's got to be at least a thousand years old. Imagine in the Middle Ages, all those knights jousting and all those banquets. Uh-uh, it's a fake. It's a mock medieval castle built in 1815, and it's a grade one listed building, and it's falling down. Luckily, young Mark Baker is single-handedly trying to save it. I've always been interested in history, like I read lots of books on the Tudors and the Stuarts, and I like just like going around country houses and like imagining how it was. This is my favourite picture. It shows the main part of the castle with the stables and the main block. It must have taken you ages to do a drawing like this. It did. Rather painstaking. Yeah. You never thought of taking up photography instead. <laughs> As the result of an ownership dispute, Grich Castle has fallen into disrepair. It's been occupied and ransacked by New Age travellers. For the last 18 months, Mark's been campaigning to save it. He's tackled estate agents, lawyers and the public records office. Mark's badgered and nagged. He's even got the council to make emergency repairs. All right, Mark, let's have a look and see what's in here. Well, that's no way in. No, the council's blocked it up. That's certainly going to stop people getting in. Yeah. Mark, just 13, is definitely obsessed. I first got interested when the castle was invaded by the New Age travellers and it was all, like, put across the press that they were damaging the building. And so I decided, like, to do something. I contacted local newspapers and wrote letters to different organisations like the Prince of Wales and the Queen. Do you ever think you've taken on quite a big task here trying to save this castle single-handedly? Yeah. You, are you surprised that it's turned into this? Yeah, I am really, because it just started with, like, just a little piece in the paper saying Boys Starts campaign to save castle and it's ended up on television. Grich Castle was built in 1815 by a Lancashire industrialist. Lloyd Bamford Hesketh wanted to impress the neighbours. This was the first Gothic folly to be built in Europe. Doris Thornton's parents were caretakers at the castle in the 1920s. Doris was born there. Today she's come to visit Mark at his home. That was my father. That was my mother. That was me. I should think I was about two. There. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now, you've come all this way from Oxfordshire to see Mark. With Why great, are you... great pleasure. Why aren't you going to see the castle? I don't wish to see it in its present state. No, thank you. Why not? Well, I remember it as how it was, you know, and it's been so desecrated. Penny and David remember the castle after the war when it opened up as an amusement park. Now, you did your courting here, didn't you? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. So did a lot of people do their courting up here. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 1953 it was. We had our photo taken on the marble staircase. The staircase when you went in was the main attraction. Attraction. It, it was beautiful. It was, was absolutely gorgeous. gorgeous. It was Those birds. Jousting and birds of prey. The birds of prey. And there was a little train, a medical train, used to go round, and pony rides and restaurants. Donkey. How busy was it then? Oh, it was oh busy. packed. It was. I mean, what's it like to come up here now and see the place the way it is? It's sad. Very sad. It's made me cry, really, to see the state it's in. Look at the windows. They were so fantastic. They were all beautiful glass. And to see them like this, it's, it's upsetting. Very upsetting to see it. The castle passed from owner to owner. An American millionaire claims he's owned it since 1990. The local council evicted the squatters last autumn, but they're unwilling to do more. Restoring the castle would cost millions. What's needed, says councillor John Pitt, is someone who's got the cash. 
Then the council could use its powers to force a sale. We need to find the owner, see what he would like to do. If he, if he doesn't want to proceed with a sale to someone who would make this place into what it should be, then we have to go ahead and compulsory purchase. As if on cue, as we were filming, a mysterious Sicilian man from Stoke-on-Trent arrived at the castle. We thought he was the caretaker, but it turned out he was the owner's cousin. Mark had a few questions to ask. I've written to your cousin and I've invited him over to my house to see yeah. my project. And I wondered, do you think he'll come? He told me he'd be the, before the end of the month, so if when I come over, yeah. he only come that to me. Yeah. Also, you can meet him. Yeah. Or at my house, or I'll let you know where we can go meet him. OK. Yeah. Are you happy now? Yes. OK. <laughs> Countryfile has contacted the American owner and confirmed that he intends to sell the castle. If a suitable buyer can be found, then Grich Castle could be saved. I think it's fantastic. Something will happen now after 10 years. So you think this place will be restored yeah. to its former glory? if it gets sold. Are you looking forward to that day then? Yeah. Because then someone will own it who cares about it cares about as much as you do. Yeah.